Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. Well let's go ahead and get started. Now over the past few weeks we've been talking about electrical safety, uh, electrical injury, and uh, extension cords. And I'll leave some cards up here. You can check those videos out if you want to. This week I'd like to talk about a protection for electrical shock. And it's called a ground fault circuit interrupter or a GFCI. In a normal electric circuit, the current flows to a tool, appliance, or light fixture through a hot wire and back to the circuit breaker through a neutral wire. There should not be any current lost that is, the current in the hot wire should be identical to the current in the neutral wire. Any difference is dangerous because it indicates a current leak. If the leaking current flows through a high resistant conductor or device, it could generate enough heat to start a fire. Electrical leaks can also cause a tool or appliance to become charged with electricity. If you touch the device, your body can provide the path to ground and you could suffer a serious shock. Now these hazards can be reduced by grounding the device or stopping the flow of electricity when a leak is detected. Today we will talk about in detail the second option. A ground fault circuit interrupter, a GFCI, is a device designed to protect you from electrical shock. A GFCI monitors the current in the circuit, hot and neutral conductors. If the two currents are not identical, a leak must exist. When such a leak is detected, the GFCI, which works like a fast acting circuit breaker, will trip and shut off the power in 1 40th of a second. Now this eliminates the potential of you being shocked or a fire being started. If an assured equipment grounding conductor program is not in place, then all equipment that can be plugged into a 110 volt receptacle must be protected by a GFCI. You can use a GFCI plug-in device or an electric circuit that has a GFCI built into it, either at the receptacle or at the circuit breaker. To ensure that the GFCIs are working properly, you should follow manufacturer's instructions for testing. Now some of you may think that GFCIs are just a nuisance because they trip all the time. Actually, they're doing exactly what they are designed to do, which is to protect you from electrical shock. There are several conditions that will trip a GFCI. They include wet or defective power tools, improper installation, an overloaded circuit, excessive lengths of temporary wiring, and long extension cords. To avoid having a GFCI trip, inspect electrical tools for damage before you use them and avoid working in wet or damp areas. And if it does trip, don't get irritated. Be glad you weren't shocked. According to OSHA, electrical shock is one of the leading causes of construction accidents. It only takes a small amount of electrical current, as little as 50 milliampers, to cause ventricular fibrillation, kind of like a heart attack. No one wants to be an electrocution statistic or worse yet, a fatality. As a safety reminder, Make sure electrical tools empower you rather than overpower you. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Also check out the other videos that I did over here. 
check out the other videos I did on electrical, electrical safety, electrical injuries, and power cords. Uh, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature along with other safety related videos and leadership training videos. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. Okay, electrical city, electricity, excited pixies, pixies that come out of the wall, as the boy on the YouTube channel says. Let's get this party started. To avoid having a GFCI trip, inspect electrical tools before damage, before you use them. Mm. No one wants to be an electrocution status. Stop recording. I goofed that one up a time or two. I had to fix it. Don't let them pixies get you. I think he calls them excited pixies. Excited pixies. Don't let them excited pixies get you. I think he's talking about electrons. Anyway, stop recording. Oh, thanks for watching. Have a grateful day. Since I'm